落緊尾啊！係啊。American diner food. <laughs> Can you believe it's Chinese New Year again? And I guess once a year I make sticky rice. So here we go. We're gonna make sticky rice in the instant pot today. I have a stir fried version up here. So in lieu of Chinese New Year, I want to say Xin Nian Kuai Le to your Mandarin speaking folk and San Nian Fai Lok to the Cantonese folk. I'm Cantonese speaking. Um, not so good at it, but there you go. And I pretend to be. <laughs> All right, so my great aunt used to bring um, this version of sticky rice. Well, not in the Instant Pot, but a steamed version. Um, this thing is too hard to cut through. My table's moving. So I went to grab my dad's clearer, and that helped a little bit, but this is preserved pork belly and it's really hard to cut through because the skin is quite it's kind of um i don't know how to describe it but it's hard but when we cook it you won't notice um it's not hard it softens up so i'm going to finish cutting this inside where my counter isn't moving okay so back to my story my great aunt um was responsible for bringing sticky rice to every Christmas um, family dinner that we had. And she made, she made the best sticky rice, she really did. And one year, she asked me, oh, how's the sticky rice? And I said, oh, it's, you know, it's good being the, you know, good grand niece. Um, but after <laughs> chatting with all the aunts and uncles, that they were all like wondering what was wrong with the sticky rice that day. And apparently she didn't make it. She, um, she bought it that year. So we were all really disappointed. And we had found out and someone had told her that it wasn't that great. So that was the last time she tried to pull one over on you guys. <laughs> exactly. So anyways, uh, she never gave me her recipe for sticky rice. Um, she would just tell me every single year that, you know, oh, it's really easy to make, you know, the tastier you want it to be, the more stuff you put in. So that's what I'm doing here. I have um, Chinese sausages called lap chong, which is these ones. And I try to get lean ones. There are some really, really fatty ones out there. Um, these are made with chicken and pork. Uh, preserved pork belly and I use one strip and you find both of these in Asian markets in the refrigerated section vacuum packed I'm also using dried shrimp that I've been soaking I'm gonna chop those up into bite-sized pieces as well I have four dried shiitake mushroom usually I use fresh but I didn't have any so I'm using the dried ones and I on I'm only using four because they're very um, flavorful and we have some dried scallops that have been soaking as well. And I'm also soaking my rice. I've been reading mixed reviews of whether to soak it or not. Um, traditionally, if you're going to steam it, you would soak it. But I'm going to cook it in the Instant Pot. I don't know if soaking it is going to make it overly sticky and mushy. I hope not. So we'll see what happens. And I have some green onions. So it's going to take me a while to chop up everything into little bits, but it is so worth it. And I'm using this like crazy cleaver. Your dad would be proud. <laughs> that looks pretty diced up. Yeah. Well, my mom walks in in the middle of me chopping up the, the preserved pork belly and then asks, what are you doing? I'm like, I'm chopping up pork belly. She's like, you don't do it like that. You take the skin off first. Oh, thanks, Mom. Why didn't you tell me that sooner? So anyways, that made it so much easier. And another thing she suggested was actually, um, I guess, blanch it in hot water so that it's softer to cut through. See, I didn't obviously didn't learn to cook from my mom, but she has lots to tell me, apparently. 
Womp womp. <laughs> so I'm back to my regular knife, so much easier to use. I'm just going to cut up the green onions and we're going to use just the white and light green parts. We're gonna cook that part and then the greens we're gonna use as garnish at the end. All right, I'll cut the rest of that up later. Just cutting up the mushrooms, taking off the stems, I'm not using the stems. They're really tough in comparison to the rest of it. I'm going to cube these. Well, two ounces of dried shrimp is a lot. Oh. It doesn't look like much when it's dried up. Yeah. Just roughly cutting them up again to make them about approximately the same size as everything else. Actually, you know what? This is not going in at the same time as everything else. Come back. The shredding the scallops. I don't really know how to buy all these Chinese ingredients, so if you have a Chinese auntie or mom or grandma, you ask them. To get it for you that's what you do is it does it say hot it says on uh, oh. if it would focus on not hot yet okay getting impatient all right it's hot now finally i already added some oil in there because i'm impatient and i'm going to put the chinese sausages i only cut up five preserved pork belly white parts of the green onion and the mushrooms are all going in at the same time. So in this blob this here. This blob here. The recipe can be found on my blog. So same recipe, just cooking a little bit different. So we're gonna stir fry this for about two to three minutes. I wish you guys can smell it. It smells so yummy. Next up going in is the rice. I had already drained it. Let's stir that around a bit. Okay, then we're going to add our scallop and dried shrimp. I have to get every little piece because dried scallop and shrimp actually is expensive. I'm going to turn it off. Let's see if I can one hand this thing. Thank you. Yeah. And I'm going to add the liquid that we were soaking everything in. The mushrooms, be careful not to add the last little bit because that's dirt at the bottom. And we're going to continue to add enough water to just cover. And uh, no, two tablespoons of soy sauce. Okay. That's it. The ceiling knob is just was just beside the lid. Oh, if you sorry. only need to look. <laughs> lock the ceiling knob into place. And I'm going to use the rice recipe that I always use, which is four minutes on manual, 10 minutes natural release. Ta-da! Okay, hopefully it works out. All right, epic fail on dude's part. We had already yeah, yeah. filmed this whole entire section, but the record wasn't actually on. So this is the result. Sticky rice. I've already added the green onions at the end and stirred them in. And I have to say that it looks so much prettier with green onions in there. And we're going to bring this to our Chinese New Year potluck. So I would like to wish you all a happy Chinese New Year. Xin Nian Kuai La or San Nian Fai La. Uh, if you like this video, I hope that you will click like and subscribe to my channel if you don't already to be notified of new videos. 
Find me on Facebook on my new Facebook page and follow me on Instagram. Thanks for watching. It's time.